This is one of my piping tutorials on how to pipe grass. Now grass can be used on lots and lots of different cakes, not just cakes for children, sportsmen, you can do grass in white going up a frozen castle, there's loads of ways you can use it. And also if you can pipe grass, you can pipe hair. Because if you look at the short hairstyles on these two little characters here, this grass that's piped there is actually identical to the brown hair that we piped on his head. So it's the same way of cutting the end of the bag. And this is what you do. You half fill your piping bag, you flatten the end, and then you cut once that way and once that way. So the shape you actually cut off at the end is a little pointy shape with a cut bit each side. And what happens when you pipe out of there, because of the way you've cut it, if you pipe a blob and just go up and down and up and down, it makes the most perfect little leaf. If I do that again, blob. In, out, in, out, in, out, like that. But if you want tiny grass, all you need to do is just pipe strands like that. And you can even get it to stick up. If you pull upwards as you pipe it, as you, as you stop piping, you're pulling upwards, your grass will stick up like that. What you can also do, if you want to do this jungle grass here, which is like you could do with little jungle face animals looking out of it. Imagine this is a side of your cake. Pipe actually up the side of your cake. And because of the way you cut the end of the bag, it always finishes with a point. And finally, the last way of doing it is to do big leaves. Now you can do big leaves like this, where they've got a veined effect. If you did a little group of them, all pointing in different directions, you pop a little flower on them, and you've got a little arrangement there, and the, the uh, royal icing will hold the flower in place. So that's how you pipe grass. You squeeze, and you pull, pull upwards, stop piping, stop squeezing, and you will get lovely little strands of grass.